Hello and welcome to Versus Live. I'm Ross Marion. And I'm Yorian Ballmeister. And we've got Justin in the booth. Say Rob smells, Justin rules, Justin. Rob smells, Justin rules, Justin. <laughs> Justin will be taking all your questions, comments, concerns, and burns in the chat. Make sure to tag at Star City Games so he can see them and send his favorites over to us. We are wrapping up our show today with the one last match. Corey and I recapping our year 2020 in Magic, playing some of our favorite decks. Yep. I kind of got my favorite out of the way first, the Rack. Did you? Okay, deck okay. In, in round one, you have saved your absolute favorite deck for last, and that is Jeskai, Yori, and Luca Fires. Are yeah. we Lucaing? No, no, we're so, not Lucaing. It was free Luca. That. Free so Luca. Okay. It was. It was even more fun because like nobody else was playing Fires and Yorian. This was even when the companion nerf wasn't there. But it doesn't really matter with Fires. Like you already, if you pay the three, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I played this in one of the E leagues. If anyone remembers that, and uh, I played against just a. A sick squad, and I like it. Was like Seth Manfield, Autumn, LSV, um, Jamie Topples, uh, and I can't remember everybody else. But Seth got eliminated right away, and then I played Autumn round two, and then won five in a row with this deck. And like I remember, even on the podcast, uh, my brother was just like, "God, this Yorian deck looks it looks fun, but it's definitely tier two. And then I just go on to just annihilate. Like I lost like one game in this E League. And then I got to play it for like two weeks before Jeskai Luca was discovered and just had the greatest time. And it's definitely not as good as a Jeskai Luca deck, but it doesn't matter because at yeah. the time, it not only won me a lot of money, but nobody else was doing it. So I was having so much fun. And it was originally Zan Saeed that uh, yeah. played it on stream and I saw him and, and, and copied it. It's definitely more fun when you're playing the best deck and nobody else has it, even if you don't have the best version of it. Yeah. It reminds me of the early days is it Phoenix and Modern? You know, it took oh, me yeah. a while to get the list refined, but even when I was only playing like 10 cantrips instead of 12, yeah. and had some extra two mana spells in my deck that were bad, it was way more fun just beating up on people that didn't really quite understand what was going on yet. Yeah. You know, we're bringing in rest in peace, and I was crackling, breaking them. It was awesome. Yeah. No, I mean, that that is so true, and that's honestly what I live for as a uh, content creator is to build that deck that's like the deck and then have like a week where you just get to go ham and, yeah, and then people start to catch one. up. It's but, nice to have more than one, but all you need is the one. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often these days now no. with the age of the internet. It's, it's, it's a lot harder to break it and keep it under wraps. It so. makes those moments when it does happen all the sweeter. Absolutely. So that's what I'm going to be running. What do you got? And as anyone who's watched a lot of Versus Live this year would know, mm -hmm. I have been a huge fan of Cat Oven and Sacrifice decks in general. So I'm going to be running the Jund Food Sacrifice Bolus of Citadel style okay. deck, which was one of the decks that could stand up to the Just Guy Fires archetype during yep. that time. You know, one of the more dominant archetypes I think in standards history, and honestly a little underrated. Everybody talks about Oko, and to me the Just Guy Fires deck was just as good, if not better, yeah. uh, in its time, you know, uh, especially once you know the Luca Shell got refined. Yeah. But the power of Bolus of Citadel in this deck was so high that it actually could stand up to it. This list came from our uh, BCW teammate, Eli Cassis. Oh, Nice. Also played it in an E-League event around that time. Yeah, he did really well the next week, I think, uh, uh, right after me. And then we ended up playing uh, in their, like, showdown events. It's there been so go. long. Nice. But... All right, so third match. Sorry third you already match. lost the marbles there, bud. Yeah, I'll be on the play, so that's <laughs> fine. And not a great hand, but I will keep it. Oh, mine's incredibly awkward, and it just reminds me of, uh, I'm going to mulligan, just reminds me of the big flaw. I played 35 lands in my Yorian deck, because we just didn't have it really refined yet, but with four grazers and a bunch of growth spirals, so it should have been at least like 37, maybe even 38. But yeah, uh, yeah, 35 is like the low end of the acceptable range. Oh, yeah. And with yeah. a deck that powerful, you can definitely go higher. Yeah, and I mean, there's omens and stuff to like filter a little yeah. bit, but you're, you're uh, not off yeah. by much. Yeah. It you're going to get too max bad. punished, but you're Oh, not yeah, off of course, much. of course. So. It, it would be fitting for 2020 to end with both of our favorite decks losing their matches. Right? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, That's no just the allowed. extra kick I need in the face, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ball into six here. Let's see what we got. A uh, coup de gras of pain. Yes. Okay, okay. Still awkward. All right, it's a keeper. Um, now, let's kind of want to just put one of these on the bottom. My land drops are so important. Uh, it feels a little awkward. Yeah, all right. We're going to put one land to the bottom here. Okay. I'm going to leave with Swamp at Kitty Cat. Yeah. You're a 19. I'm a 21. All right. You're 19, up. 21. Okay. I have a Triumph, and I'll pass to you. Tack it 18. 18. Play tap, Blood Crypt. Okay. Pass the turn. Don't mind that. 
Glad we bottomed our land after drawing two in a row. I'm gonna take two and I'm gonna pass. Actually, I think there was a reason for me to do this on my turn. So I'm gonna grow a spiral. Okay. Could hit Grazer. I did not. And I will put a land into play top. You're at 16. Yep. Okay, that'll come up eventually. Uh, I will take two, go to 19. Okay. I will play a Woe Strider, get a goat. Woe Strider. And okay. attack for one. I will take it. 15 to 19, pass yep. the turn. All right. Draw, um, let's see. Don't have a very good turn here. I'm at 15, huh? Let's go with, I'm gonna take two and pass to you. So that brings you to 13? Yep. Okay, could be a shark typhoon. That card wasn't printed out this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a mayhem devil. Mayhem devil, huh? Um. Yeah, that resolves. I will attack with my two creatures. I will cycle the shark and typhoon yep. for two. <laughs> Four blocks after the shark. I'm going to okay. sacrifice these two and deal two to the shark with Mayhem Devil. Okay. I got two scries. Yep. Uh, first one, that can go to the bottom. Okay. Second one, that can stay on the top. You're going to take three to ten. Down to ten, yep. I'll play another tapped blood crypt and pass. All right. It's on top. Well... Um, our hand has been really not developing, let me tell you. But uh, I think we pretty much have one play, and I will just shatter. That's pretty cool. And and I will just play a land tap and pass to you. Okay, I finally found my green source, so I'm going to go to 17. I thought you just ran back your Rakdos deck. Uh, no, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Just through a lot of blood crystals. Okay, okay. <laughs> so try I do out, have trail yeah. crumbs, which is quite good here. So that'll get me a food. Where is our food? There's there our Just the giant pile. And your little dog, here. too. <laughs> uh, let's I think sacrifice is now to see if I can get like a priest or something. Okay. So Calder Familiar, pay one for the trail. Yep. Two lands, eh? I guess I'll take the one that does something. <laughs> okay. So Locked Wayne. Calder Familiar enters. Nine to 20. Uh, nine to 18. I shocked for this. Oh, one, sure, right? sure, sure. So 918, and I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. Okay. Um, not drawing super great here. I will play a Arboreal Grazer. Put a land and a play tapped. Play my land for the turn, and pass to you. I will play Castle Lock Lane. Okay. And Gilded Goose. Okay. And get a food. Sure. And pass the turn. Um, end step. Let's cycle a trial. Yep. Untap. We haven't found our namesake card yet. Um,. Let's play an Omen. Don't want two lands. Maybe I should have cut some lands. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then we got a uh, nice one of here. This is going to be comical to people. I have an Uro, which we were just playing one at the time. You're like, ah, oh, that card can't be that good. Brings you to 12. Yep. 12 draw. And I will play another Grazer and pass to you. No land off that Grazer. No land. Two cards in hand. Yep. Okay, on the end step, do I want to throw this food away or do I just want to activate the castle? I think I just want to activate the castle since it's a renewable resource. Okay. So I'm going to take three. Okay. You get a 15. I do get a 15. Then I will under off return. Okay. Um. The one of a row there, pretty nice draw here, being pretty close to escaping. 
but it's going to be a little tricky to get a card into a graveyard. Okay, I'm just going to jam. I wanted to jam. wait one turn on this because it felt like you probably had an ECD given how anemic your start was. Uh, uh -huh. So I wanted to make sure I would be able to play a land off the top with it. Okay. So I'll play Citadel. Resolve. I will play a land. Okay. <laughs> I will <laughs> activate the goose for a white, I guess. Uh, I guess that's look a at land. the top too. Yeah. I will select a swamp. Okay. Put this land on the bottom. Okay, let's get one more land. I will play a Witch's Oven. Okay. That's a good draw. I'm going to 14. Really bad for me. I will play a Woe Strider. Go oh, to 11. God, okay. Get a goat. And we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is generally the time when the game is... Oh, baby. Uh, what am I at? 11? Yeah. I'll go to 8. Get a Mayhem Devil. Uh, so we're 2, 5, 8 permanents right now. So close to death already. That's a land. So let's go... <laughs> Sack called in familiar for a food. Okay. You t uh, you take one. Yeah. Go to eleven. Sack the food to called in familiar. You take one. Go to ten. Yeah. Pay for trail. Yeah. I will select bolus of citadel in case you have an ECD. Okay. I'll kill you this turn. You go to nine. I go to nine from the called in familiar trigger. Yeah. I think I'm just dead. <laughs> I will go to eight. All right, I'm familiar. dead. I'm dead. I concede. <laughs> I need one more permanent, which I wasn't going to hit. Yeah, I just couldn't. Well, you can just start scrying, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then I, yeah. yeah, scry to the bottom. Okay, you go to seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't have the fat. I did have the ECD. I had an ECD and another shark, but we just Six. didn't have fires. Fires was the major thing that we needed there. Um, but uh, didn't get it, so. Okay, yeah, you were going to die. Oh, for sure, for sure. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for game number one. Uh, we are going to head to sideboarding here between our two final decks here on Versus Live. Don't go anywhere. All right, everybody, welcome back to sideboarding here on Versus Live between Yori and Hold Fires. It doesn't, it doesn't look like we're sideboarding, though. You only have what are you talking card. about? I'm sideboarding huge right now. <laughs> No, I am a granted deck, so uh, you know you want to make sure you have your one ofs here. I do have two cages though, so I, I'm okay bringing one in. But otherwise, I, I thought about a second shatter. I didn't really care for that, but otherwise, it was just anti blue cards for disputes, and then just make sure you have a good wish target. So I'm only bringing in the one cage for the fourth grazer. Probably shouldn't have played four grazers anyways, and it's a little bit worse on the play. I think I might be swapping more cards right now <laughs> than the other five decks in this show combined. Yeah, I think so. I think. It's so. close. It's close. <laughs> uh, but a, a very well prepared sideboard here from the Jund, uh, a food side. Ready for this deck yeah. six weeks into the future. Got some heavy hitters in Corvold, some dresses against the control deck, early pressure that generates card advantage, yep. answers to fires. All very solid here. Close Taking out our anti-creature cards, trimming on Mayhem Devil, which is itself an anti-creature card, but yeah. you still want to leave in a couple to go with Bolus of Citadel. And then these two one ofs that are in the main are just not very high value cards. They probably come out all the time. Yeah. And so just easy cards to trim when you have an idea of what the matchup is and you know, really high powered cards for that matchup. Seems like an Ely Cassis uh, fun of package there. Oh, you know, yeah. just uh, throw them in because why not? Yeah. You know? yeah, deck's pretty mana intensive. I think the migration yeah. path is actually pretty cool. Yeah, I think it was pretty stock at the time, actually. Everyone yeah. was playing that one migration path. The Lantern is uh, probably a little yeah. new at the time. My, but, my yeah. guess is people started playing more Uros in the in those five weeks. You've only got the one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uro had to have been just popping up, but right away, it like, wasn't super big. You know, like I remember the Bant decks even at this time were only playing like a couple of them, and they weren't even playing all the gross spirals and stuff. So like, it was it was yeah. weird time for uh, the Bant decks right a, away. It was a time, the brief time when Yorian decks actually trumped Uro decks. Yeah, you know, that didn't happen very often. But when the your index are fully powered, they're operating on another level. Yeah, and honestly, it was fires. Fires really put Yorian way over the top. You know that that really made it insane because naturally you were already playing decks that had come into play abilities because fire is a very proactive card, and then Yorian just complemented it so well. And on that turn five, or whenever you have five mana, turn four maybe, whenever you could go free spell. Even buy Yorian, but at the time just cast Yorian before the companion nerf and then play another spell. You yeah. won like every one of those games, yeah. you know? Not only were you generating card advantage, you were generating mana advantage. All and right. When you get to do that at the same time, that's when things get really broken. That's when it gets busted. All right. I just want to cast fires. You know, that's my whole goal today is just to cast the cards. So uh, I'm going to go first. Good luck with that. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. I will keep as well. Okay. I got to try them and I'll pass to you. 
Okay, normally I would like to save these, but I'm going to be tapping out on turns two and three, so okay. I'm going to take two and duress you on turn one. Well, my hand is excellent, so I'm bummed to see that. Um, yeah, don't really feel the need to take these cantrips, let's just yeah. take the fires. You know it's right here is the next one, right? Yeah, <laughs> and that's a big bummer because fires are bad in multiples. Yeah, they really are. Okay, I'm going to go. So it is a bit of a risk. Um, no, I could top deck a grazer, I guess. So I'll take two. You have an, you drew another green. Go to us. eighteen. That's the only way top decking a grazer makes. Who knows? Who knows? So I'm not 18, telling you. Eighteen all. I'll grow a spiral, and I will play a hollowed pond tapped. Okay, I've got forest to trail of crumbs. Get me a food. All right, you're crummy. You're up. Oops, that's not a fires. That was supposed to be a fires. I don't get it. Um, okay. Your complaint's right over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, actually, you should direct your complaint to Achi and Serrani. Achi and Serrani, sure. Yeah, I, I should know yes. that. My, my apologies. You fool, you fool. Yeah. Um, okay, so here, I think I want, I don't really want to start with Omen, because there's nothing I really want to cast that costs two mana. All my things that really matter are like three mana Narsa and stuff. So I think I'm content just playing Hollowed Fountain Tapped and passing to you. I got an Omen, okay? Yeah. Doesn't want to buy the Orion, probably just wants to Omen on Instep. Uh, yeah. Okay, not a very good sequence of draws, but I do have Forest, Woe Strider. Woe Strider, okay. Good to go. Okay. Pass a turn. Now is the question, uh, what do I want to do? And I'm kind the of winter punished. of my discontent. <laughs> kind of punished by playing that land there. So yeah, all right, we're gonna, I'm gonna Omen. Don't like either of those. A draw. Okay, that is kind of what we wanted. Kind of what you wanted. Kind of. Um, so let's go with a Narset. Man, just getting to play Narset again. I've been having a great day. All right, activate. Okay, when it's paired with all these other busted cards, this is also fun. Um. Yeah, we'll get to Fairy. Okay. And... I'm going to take two. Here at 16. And pass to you. Oh, I have drawn pretty heinously. Okay, good, good. But I will... Attack Narset. I got an omen. Bang. Okay. I am going to sack the food for three life and pay for the trail. Love that. You go to 21. I will select a Mayhem Devil. Okay. I will then sacrifice the Bradley Nelson to scry. Okay. How dare you sack my brother so willy nilly? Uh, leave that on top. Okay. The omen is going to resolve and do its thing. Okay. Then I have pay to life, go to 19, because I went up to 21. Yep. And a witch's oven. Okay. So I'm at 19, you're at 16, and I will pass the turn. I don't mind that. Yeah, not a great turn from my end, but I drew four lands to start the game. Not bad, Keeping not bad. Lander. I will uh, get omen, as it's the only card. And so probably one of the best ones for you to get at this point. Yeah, it's not really bad. Not really bad. Um, hmm. I think I want to start with that. Maybe try to get a fires. I guess fires wouldn't be the best follow up after this. But yeah, we're gonna go with omen. Don't want these two lands. Um. Okay, I've clearly screwed up. I shouldn't have played this over too. Imagine I played Stomach. Okay. okay. Um, then let's go. You didn't see that chat. We saw it. Didn't see it at all. We're going to make fun of you endlessly. All right. Then I'm going to play Teferi, just debating what I want to do with it. Oh, it actually doesn't change anything. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'll just go back to the original play, though. You cheater. Didn't see anything, chat. Okay. Okay. Um, so. The awkward part is that I drew two basic force. I'm just going to tick up, play a Triome, and pass to you. Cards in hand? Three. All busted. 
It's so much better if I can just cast Yorian next turn instead of having to pay that stupid okay. companion cost. Well, I think I'm going to have to make the awkward line that leaves me without three black in case I draw an, a whatchamacallit. Whatchamacallit has been called. Uh, because I need this extra point right now. Okay. So let's play Main Devil, Sack Fable Passage, deal one to Narset. Narset's down. Get Basic Mountain, probably the worst card in the deck. <laughs> yeah, but a necessity. And then I will play Robber of the Rich. Okay. With two cards left in my hand. Okay. And attack the Teferi and trigger the Robber. All right. And bang. None for you. Uh, I didn't want to draw that anyways. Then I will pass the turn. Okay. Upkeep, anything? No. All right. So I'm kind of tempted to just... To fairy bounce here because it's not really going to get too much better. Bounce the oven and then shatter would be the best thing. Yeah. That's um, what I don't want to see. Yeah. Uh, so if you could not do that. I may not do that. That would be great. I'm actually going to bounce Mayhem Devil though. Now I have the option of denying you a card. That you do. And I kind of like that option because it also just gets me a food and nets me a card with the trail. Yep. So I am going to take that and okay. sack this. Uh, deal you one. Get a okay. food. I got a so 15. 15. Um, no. Let's see what we want to do here. Got four in hand? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that Yorian sitting over there is going to be really good. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm just trying to set up a nice one. Um, let's start with a grow spiral. Yeah. Draw. No land. <laughs> um, uh, no land. <laughs> I got a land. Sorry, sorry. I called no land. You called no lands? No lands has been called? Yeah. Sorry about that. There's no way you could have lands. I have all of them. And then <laughs> a Narset. That's pretty good. Activate. Okay, I think uh, I could go grow spiral to be able to play something, but that doesn't seem very good. I'll get the adult Narset. Um, and play a land tapped and pass to you. Wow. Um, let's, uh, I guess we'll attack with the robber first. I only have one robber left in the deck as far as haste creatures go to deal with the Narset entirely. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, wait, how many cards do you have? Two. <laughs> no cards for you. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Okay, then. <laughs> Sack this. And Would you like to go to the next game? I'll go to 22 life. Okay, okay. I will select another oven and put okay. this land on the bottom. Yeah, you're definitely in trouble with such a heinous hand. Play that. Okay. Play this tapped. Sure. Tack the Narset down. Sure. Pass the turn. All right. This is going to be a great turn. I am going to play okay. by Yorian and play Yorian. Blowing these out of here. And I'm going to play a land. And these enter. I'll target Robber of the Rich for my... Omen. Sack it for a food. And double omen trigger. I'll take that one. And I will top top and put it in this other order. All right. There we go. Now we're doing the things. Wow. Now we're doing the bird serpenty things. 2020, this was the only gleaming hope of 2020 was your in. He agrees. I completely yeah. agree. I have a low strider. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure I kept one, two, three, six, seven. I kept three lands, four spells. I'm not sure how many times I've activated trail. I think yeah. it's only two. I, it comes by itself. Yeah, I haven't used this. Okay, so I've drawn one spell this game. Nice. Not one, bad. One not spell bad. so far. As, That's pretty good. It's better than zero. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, two counters on that, and I'll pass the turn. All right. I'll on top. I'll draw a magical card. I will activate Narsa. I will get a backup Narsa. Yeah, I'll concede this one. Yeah, that, that one's probably going to be pretty good, huh? 
All right. Yeah, Sarkin, <laughs> you're just going to kill me? Yeah, yeah, pretty dang soon. Pretty dang soon. All right, for the sweep. Sweep's on the line. Sweep's on the line. That's, uh, that's important stuff. My driveway's getting a little dusty. It's been a long time since I've swept that driveway because you've been oh. destroying me on Versus Live here in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I've been on a nice, I had a nice week last week. Yeah, you did. Hey, for, for me, Christmas came early. Christmas came early, huh? Justin, you got, uh, you got any questions for us here? Yeah, let's see here. Uh, Pokemon right. Professor Millie Miltank uh, wanted to know, what has been your least favorite decks this year? Least favorite decks? Um, Anything with a row in it? Yeah. I saw uh, that coming. Yeah. Oko, Oko Summer or whatever, where it was just, uh, oh. you know, Oko Mirrors. I hated that era of magic. That was my least favorite for that, sure. That was mostly last fall, though, wasn't it? It's, was that last year? Yeah. I it's think it's filled so over like blended to January. It's blended um, all together to me. D Demir Inverter. Yeah. I Fair hated that. that, one, that one's up there in Pioneer. Um,. Any deck Aaron Barrett has played against me. And, and any modern deck with Mystic Sanctuary in it. Oh, yeah. All these blue soup Mystic Sanctuary decks in modern, I hate them. Yeah, I hate those too, actually. And then I, I even played a lot of them. Um, and then, you know what? I think we can sum it up together. Tron. Screw Tron, right? <laughs> Nobody likes that. <laughs> I'm whatever on Tron. Also, the deck is bad now. Yeah, it's bad now, but, you know, it still makes me mad when they Tron me, you know? The, the deck that actually makes me mad is Eldrazi Tron, because whenever they Tron you, you feel like they got really lucky. Yeah. You're like, yeah. you're not supposed to Tron people, but you did yeah. anyway, you jerk. You jerk, yeah. All right, and then on a positive note, let me go ahead and ask you from Director Justin, okay. uh, what is your uh, favorite new card from this year? Favorite new card, bang, 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 it's Yorian. <laughs> it's Yorian, yep. not close Favorite for me. Favorite new card from this year. Gotta be Wrangle, right? Wrangle's last year, that's Throne. Oh, yeah. So you can't, oh, you can't yeah. pick a Throne card. That's that's the problem. Oh. Um, well, Luris is an option for you. Luris is an option, but I don't think it's actually Luris. Yeah. I do love me a Whisper Squad. <laughs> there we go, there we go. I do love go. me a Whisper Squad. Or village um, rights. That seems like your card. Village rights is nice. I I, I might just say whisper squad. Okay. 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 I I like to whisper it though. Yeah. Answers whisper squad. Whisper squad. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, great questions, though. Honestly, I just loved walking down memory lane a little bit. We're going to go a little late here, everyone, so buckle up. If anybody has plans buckle directly directly when this show is supposed to end, too yeah, bad. We're going to kill you on turn four. Yeah, we're playing best, uh, you know, 15 out of 31 here. Oh, deck. Oh, yes. decky, decky, decky. 2020 summed up is Ross mowing the five in the last game, so I think we all know what we're hoping for here. God. This deck is not supposed to keep one landers, but I have five one mana spells and a two drop. Okay. <laughs> it's like the most tempting one lander I've ever seen. Okay. I have yeah, is... I'm, I'm gonna keep it. Uh God, this my hand is not great too. I have the ultimate tilt in my hand. But you know what? I'm gonna keep oh wait a minute. I actually do not have a color. I have to mulligan this one. If I had white, this this hand already tilts me off. Double grazer is just so bad. Grazer, honestly, is just the green mulligan for a reason. It's so bad. That might also be one of my least favorite cards. Because this yeah. is another card where you're just like, you jerk. Yeah, like, you had the grazer. It's it's one of those cards where you always yeah. remember the times your opponent cast it on turn one yeah. and the times you drew it on turn 10. Wait a minute. Is this a card from this year? Because I definitely know my least so favorite that, Actually, that, that's from last year, too. That's from the This is from this year, right? No, that's a long time ago. It's not, even, it's not even standard legal anymore, Corey. It's so sad. Whenever a set like gets printed, after it's like in the limelight, I just forget all order, rhyme, or reason the, when it happens. The you sets know? this year are Theros Beyond Death, yeah, Ikoria, yeah. Uh -huh. Core Set 21, yeah. and uh, Zendikar Rising. Okay, okay, okay. So among those, your favorite might be among those other than Yorian is probably like ECD. That's, I do love ECD or Birth of Melitis. I was a big yeah. fan of that. Okay, we're going to keep this one. It's not insane or anything, but I will keep. And let's get this one to the bottom. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to lead with Overgrown Tomb Goose. I'm okay. at 18. You're up. I have a triumph pass to you. Drew oh. a land. I'm the best. Wow. You're so lucky. Um... So lucky.
Uh, oven, cauldron familiar. Okay. 19 all. 19. And pass the turn. A draw. A not a good draw. I will play a land tap and pass to you. And step loop the familiar. Yep. You go to 18, I go to 20. Yep. I am the best God, you're in so the world. Lucky. So lucky. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I will dress you. Okay, I got cards. I will take the Shatter the Sky. Okay. I will play Robber of the Rich. Okay. I'll attack you for three, trigger Robber. Okay. Ooh, that's a good wow. one. <laughs> you go to 15. Yep. I guess it's awkward against a Narset, but. Slightly. Done. Yep. Okay, I'll take two and play an Narset. You go to 13. Activate. Those aren't great. And then I'll pass to you. End step, loop oven with familiar. You yep. go to 12, I go to 19. Yep. Or 12, wasn't I at 15? Doesn't mm -hmm. that put me to 14? 15, no, you went to 13 from the robber attack. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Uh, Send three at Narset, trigger robber. Okay. Is that good? Wow. <laughs> and just go off with omens. Yeah, cast omen. Okay. Um. Yeah, leave them both on top. Okay. Must be. Pay two life, go to 17. Omen again. Play the other omen. <laughs> okay, this is so messed up. Um. Yeah, leave them both on top. What is this? Uh, sack for a black and duress. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! I'll take the fires. You are just a fun wrecker. Pass the turn. God, uh, what a fun wrecker! Well, I'll play a Narset. <laughs> Twenty twenty. Activate. Yeah, Miss. <laughs> god. Go. Okay. End step on loop cat oven. You go to 11. Wow. I go to 18. 2020 is just a cruel, sick joke, it looks like. <laughs> do you have three cards in hand? Yes, I do, Ross. They're take wide off, open for trip. you. I'll go to 16. Okay. Robber and familiar at the Narset. Okay. The car. That's a good one. Jesus. Um, I will sacrifice the familiar for a food and okay. then sack the food to make a black and play bolus of citadel mother of god one two three four five six already i've already played a land but that's a good one i'll go to 13 oh my god i'll go to 12 <laughs> um don't have a way to get past that i have two four six eight permanents so not yeah. enough to kill you yet i'm at 12 life um, and I'll pass the turn. There's just nothing I can do. There's just nothing I, I can do. I told you I was going to kill you. I, it's turn six I'm going to kill you. I said turn five. Ugh. I'm sorry I was a turn short. The Citadel didn't hit. God. My draw was just actually not bad. I mean, I didn't have a two drop or anything, yeah, but, but I had you know. turn five demolish you with two duresses. <laughs> 2020 just keeps getting better, Twitch <laughs> chat. Just keeps getting better. I, I kept an awesome one lander and just rattled off four lands in a row again. I was there, Ross. I saw great. it. <laughs> All right, GG's. Well, uh, give me those salty marbles over here right now. Make myself feel yeah. better. I at least get to. This is a moral victory for me to be yeah. for his favorite deck in the end. Yeah. You're just a bludgeoning in the yeah, third game. Yeah, li literally the last time I played this deck, I had just beat LSV, Autumn Burchett, uh, you know, and had not yeah. played it since then. And then, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just better than comes them. in. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's, that's, that's the it. only possible explanation. Still update good. your all-time rankings, please, <laughs> appropriately. <laughs> my have my stats card has to have versus the live record. Like, defeated Corey Baumeister on uh. versus live with Dress Guy Luca. Oh, looks, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just getting word from our director. It looks like we're out of time here. I guess we're going to have to just thank some subs, <laughs> thank some sponsors, and get out of here. Oh, Ross is a jerk? Okay, I'll let him know. Uh, Ross, director, I want me to tell you you're a jerk. Thanks, Rob. I love you, too. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's thank some subs from you, my friend. And then we're going to thank some sponsors. And we're going to leave on our last Christmas show here or holiday show, whatever you celebrate out there. Uh, I do not have any subs this time, it looks like. All right. Uh, I could give the old Twitch Prime reminder. Maybe I'll do that myself. Throw yeah. in a little Christmas spirit. Yeah. It, it's a rule. Whenever we don't get any subs, the director has to give 50 subs. So, right, right, right. Yeah. Get your wallet yeah. out, bud. Uh, you actually don't do that giving. via Twitch. You do that by giving cash to the two of us. Yeah, uh, I actually, always forget that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're Rob, Rob didn't tell you about that. Yeah. Negative. You're supposed uh, to use the company credit card as well to uh, uh, 
pay for some gifts for us as well. I know oh, you're yeah. new here, so we're just laying the rules. We up. both enjoy flights to Tahiti. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's on our our, our Amazon wish list. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll talk to uh, talk to the manager. First, and, first and class, the though. None of this coach nonsense. Yeah. 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 We're we're high class uh, son of a guns here. So. <laughs> yeah. Fair uh, enough. Uh, if you would like to support Star City Games in another way, you can join SCG Premium. Seven ninety nine a month will get you access to exclusive content from our staff of content creators, as well as some other perks. That is at five percent off of sealed product, ten percent off of singles, and fifteen percent off of supplies. So head on over to StarCityGames.com slash join dash premium and sign up today. Absolutely. And next up, if you want one of these fancy gaming chairs that we sit in all the time, maybe an early Christmas present, you know. I guess it might not show show up by then, but you know what I mean. Order yourself a gift. You deserve it. Might as well be a Carnox gaming chair. You can head over to carnox.com slash SCG. Use that affiliate link to get yourself 10% off one of these comfy chairs we sit in every day. Or perhaps you see the shirts that we wear Ooh, every day on Versus Live and say, I want one of those, or I know somebody who would want one of those. You can find their entire... Uh, uh, Colas Apparel's entire collection at colasapparel.shop. Be sure to use the gift code SCG when checking out to get 10% off of your purchase there as well. Yeah, and I got one of the new ones. Check it out. The Godfather. I love this one. Uh, Godfather's a nice one. <laughs> a nice uh, Godfather and Muxus, uh, uh, you know, collab. I really like that one a lot. A little two for one, you know, two some value. I um, do have a and... quick update. What's up? We got some subs. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's thank him, and then we can of give course. you some announcements yeah. for the coming weeks. Yeah. Uh, Heptagon24 gave out a, a, a tier one sub. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you. Happy then, uh, we love you, Phil. Oh, always. It, Hail Me uh, 786 gave out five uh, tier one subs. So wow. thank you for real. We really guilt tripped them into it, huh? Yeah. They just, they're looking out for me. See, they right. are looking out. Yeah. Look how, look how good we are at this center. There's actually a clause, though, that if somebody gifts at the last minute, now you have to gift 100 subs. I know it's a weird rule. Ooh. But uh, yeah, we'll 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 check it out for you. But. Cedric, how not... many other people do you think are shameless enough to guilt our own chat into gifting six <laughs> subs? Probably a few. Where's, the, where's our raise? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and now shamelessly asking for a raise, <laughs> yeah. of course. All right, everyone. Double down on the shamelessness. Smart. So here, now we want to clean up a little bit of house here for the upcoming events here. It is the holiday week, so we do not have a Keldheim Championship qualifier this weekend, but it starts right back up next weekend where we're going to be back to standard. We've been focusing on historic a lot. So next weekend, Friday and Saturday, we'll be... Standard qualifiers, and then the weekend tournament will be standard as well. There'll be four flights each day on Friday and Saturday, so be on the lookout for those. Yep, four and two in one of those gets you into mm -hmm. the Sunday event. Fifth win and sixth wins gets you one and two buys for that Sunday event. Yep. So you can even play them after you've qualified, try to lock up some buys for Sunday, get into that call time championship. I'm playing Monogreen Food, man. I love oh, yeah. that deck. It's a good it's one. so good. Yeah, I mean, who would ever play a deck without Trail of Crumbs in it? <laughs> Just seems like a mistake. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> last thing is we do have the holiday sale for this week. If you want to get some last-minute uh, shopping in, this week's sale is going to be a bonus buck. So you're going to get 10% store credit back from your purchases uh, from now going on up until Monday at 10.59 a.m. Eastern time. That 10% is going to get credited to your account the following Monday on January 4th. You'll get an email when it, uh, you know, when it credits. So watch out for that and be sure to get your last-minute shopping done now because you know, you get 10% back. All I heard is free money. We're just giving it away here. Yeah, that's what we do. We just give yeah. things away. Yeah, and apparently that's what I do on Versus Live when I go for the sweep. I just give it away <laughs> to one lander on the play guy over here. <laughs> so... Uh, I was on the play. Yeah. yeah. It, it felt more stolen than given. It did. You know what? That's a very good point. That's a very like good a gift point. Given? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, it's, it's also like when you just pop into my house and steal my presents from under my yeah. tree. It wasn't, you know? it wasn't you giving me a gift. It was me ungiving you a gift. True, yeah. true. Well, it hurts. It hurts. So, all right, everyone. That's going to do it for us. Uh, looking forward, we do not have a show on Thursday because it is Christmas Eve, I believe, or Christmas, yeah, yeah. Christmas Day, Eve. one of the two. Um, so, no show on Thursday, but we will be back Tuesday at our normal time. You know, hopefully we get a little bit more Keldheim cards and we can start playing with new Magic cards. That is the goal. That is the goal. So we'll see what we get, see if we got enough to work with. Um, but that's going to do it for us for now. So for us three, happy holidays. Be safe out there. We love you from the Versus Live family. We'll see you Tuesday, okay? Bye-bye.